The music this morning is presented by the Paris Island Marine Band. The drum major is Gunner John Shear. The enlisted conductor is Staff Sergeant Wodak.
morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of Company F. The graduation ceremony that you're about to see is the culmination of the recruit training process and marks the beginning of a challenging future for our new Marines. For the convenience of everyone attending the ceremony, we request that you please remain in your seat until the ceremony is complete. We also ask that you do not pass in front of the reviewing stand or onto the parade deck during the ceremony. Once the ceremony is complete, please be sure to gather all of your belongings and place any trash in the receptacles located behind you prior to exiting the stands. Lastly, do not step over any chain fence or walk on the grass. Thank you for your cooperation. The term Devil Dog is used today as a friendly reference between Marines, but the nickname has a proud history. It was first given to the Marines by German troops who fought against them at the Battle of Bella Wood during World War I. In 1921, Major General Smedley Butler introduced the first Bulldog as a Marine mascot. Now entering the parade deck is Paris Island's own Devil Dog, Corporal Opha May II. Corporal Opha May is an English Bulldog who enlisted in the Marine Corps and reported to recruit training on March 14, 2022 and graduated May 6, 2022. Corporal Opha May's handler is Lance Corporal Morales Canales of the Headquarters and Service Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Medley. Today's parade is comprised of officers and drone instructors from the Second Recruit Training Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Rock, the chaplain of the Second Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Limbo, United States Navy, will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Eternal Father, the Father of all, this morning we are gathered here because you're giving us a chance to be happy, to acknowledge, ladies and gentlemen, who you have sent here to be trained, and they have earned the title of Marines to defend this country of freedom and all that we stand for. We thank you. We thank you for the instructors and the leaders of this institution who had always put everything they have to make this transformation become real. We thank you also for the families and for all friends who have supported all these young men and young ladies who today have been transformed and would continue this journey of transformation that you have started. We thank you for this nation that you have lifted up and for our leaders, for our president, and for this institution and all these leaders. We ask that you continue this journey with them and continue this journey with us. Protect us and give us the commitment and the courage to continue this journey, serving this country that you have oiled. We ask this in your most holy name, amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops of one long line at close intervals made possible the massing of firepower from muzzleloaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation that you're about to see today. The adjutant formed the line for battle. The Marine marching across the parade deck is Captain Williams. He is the parade adjutant and will very shortly give the command to begin the ceremony. His position 
when he halts, indicate where the right flank of the formation will rest. Once positioned, he will draw his sword and supervise the placement of the formation. have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained. They have departed Paris Island for combat and conflicts throughout the world. At the misty wheat fields of Bella Wood, the gritty beaches of the Pacific, the snow-capped mountains of Korea, the sweltering jungles of Vietnam, the harsh desert sands of Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and every other climbing place where Marines have sacrificed for country and corps. The first called upon, the first to arrive, and the first to fight, the Marine Corps. The nation's force of readiness has answered the call to numerous hotspots around the globe, showing the world once again that the United States Marine Corps is America's premier 911 force. Marching onto the parade ground is Company F. They began their training on April 7, 2023, and today's graduation marks the end of a demanding and difficult 12 weeks of training. These young men you see marching before you have met and mastered the challenge of recruit training. They have qualified with a service rifle and received basic warrior training. They have completed over 200 hours of academic instruction and participated in a rigorous physical training program that developed their strength and stamina for the challenges ahead. Core values have been instilled in each of them, the meaning of honor, courage, and commitment. Marching before you this morning are 199 success stories, each of them a testament to the physical courage, dogged determination, and unyielding commitment to excellence that define the title Marine. This is what they have striven and persevered for, the right to walk across the parade deck as Marines. They have earned this title through demonstrated courage and achievement, and now join the proud ranks of over 1 million Marines who have graduated from Paris High. From this day on, they will carry on the proud legacy and history of the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present to you the Marines of Company F.
the platoons are being aligned from left to right in order to get them in their exact position for the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove all hats for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated.
the parade adjutant now presents the command to the commander of troops, indicating that the parade is formed. As a command, officers center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit commanders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information on to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. In keeping with the slogan, once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. We ask that those men and women in the audience who have served in the United States Marine Corps, please rise. Please show, join us in showing our appreciation for their dedicated service to foreign countries. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of the 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Kern. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And on behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier Field, I would like to welcome you to historic Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, where for over 100 years we've been making Marines. And today, we celebrate the graduation of your Marines, the Marines of Company F. I would also like to personally extend a special welcome to our parade reviewing official, the First Lady of the United States, the Honorable Dr. Jill Biden. Ma'am, it's an honor and privilege to have you here today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 weeks ago, these Marines arrived here on Paris Island from all corners of the United States and all walks of life. But they all came here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to earn the title of the United States Marine. For you see here on Paris Island, that title is earned, never given. And in that, we put them to the test, physically, mentally, morally. We tested them at the rifle range as they qualified as the M16 surfer rifle. We tested them at the pool as they conducted combat water survival. And we tested them here on this parade deck as they conducted close order drill. And we put them to a final test, a grueling 54-hour field training exercise known as the Crucible. The reward for all these conquering, all these challenges, is that in the palm of their hand, they're given our most cherished emblem, the eagle, globe, and anchor. And in that moment, it signifies that the transformation from recruit to marine is complete, and that forever their lives have been changed. Now we know this journey isn't done by themselves, and there's a few that we'd like to help for these marines that got there on the journey today. First, to you, the families. As I look through the stands, I see a sea of gold. I see, stand, I see signs. I see the, the flags from the platoons. It's that love encouragement that can tell me how proud you are of your Marine, and you should be. But you see, it's the love, encouragement, prayers, and yes, moms, even those care packages from home that got them through recruit training. We appreciate that support, and I know that for my 19 years in the Marine Corps that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't love and support of my wife, Pamela, or my family. So thank you all for welcoming the Marine Corps family, and please continue that support, for they'll need that for the journey that lies ahead. Secondly, to the recruiters. It's a Marine Corps recruiter who first recognized the potential of your Marine, that they had what it took to conquer recruit training. Joining us today are some of those recruiters. We're joined by recruiting substation Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Gents, you can rise. As well as Staff Sergeant Kwong. Staff Sergeant Kwong is directly responsible for recruiting our company honor graduate. Gentlemen, thank you for what you do, because without you, we wouldn't have recruits to train. So please continue that. We look forward to seeing the next batch of recruits they bring to us for recruit training. And finally, to the drill instructors and their families. It is a drill instructor who's directly responsible for the transformation process. You see, we don't train Marines, we make Marines here on Paris Island. 19 years ago, I stood on a parade deck just like this. And to this day, I still idolize my drill instructors, Gunnery Sergeant Mack, Staff Sergeant Peabody, Staff Sergeant Moran. That's the impact a drill instructor has in my life. And that's the impact a drill instructor does on here at Paris Island. Not only do they prepare us for the rigors of combat, but they also make us better citizens, because we know at some point our Marine Corps journey will end. So we return quality citizens back to society. To families of drill instructors, at sometimes it may seem like a three-year tour or a three-year deployment. We appreciate all you do in truly making Company F a family, and that's based upon your hard work and sacrifices. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause. We thank the drill instructors and their families for all they do to make Marines. Now, if you'll please excuse me a moment, I'd like to address the new Marines. Good morning, Marines. Marines, stand tall and lean back. That chill that you just felt 
was knowing that today you have earned the title of the United States Marines and you have conquered recruit training. For you see today, Marines, be proud of your achievements. Because today, you join a warfighting organization that for 247 years has fought and won this nation's battles in the air, land, and sea. Today, Marines, you jo now join and stand on the legacy of those that came before you. The Marines who fought in Afghanistan, the Marines who fought in Iraq, and the Marines who raised the American flag over Iwo Jima. But today, Marines, is not the end of your journey, but rather it's just the beginning. For you see, tomorrow, Marines, it's no longer about you. It's about the Marines to your left or your right. Tomorrow, it's about Marines and fire teams and squads that you haven't even met yet, but soon will. Tomorrow, Marines, it's about the individuals in those stands that you now swore an oath to defend. Tomorrow, it's about ensuring that American flag, old glory, forever flies as a symbol of freedom. As we look to the horizon, Marines, I can't tell you where you'll go or what you'll do, but I can promise you this. Never forget the institutional core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and the foundation that was set here on Paris Island by your drill instructors, and you will do well no matter where you go. Now, fair winds and following seas, Marines. Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the nation's newest Marines, the Marines of Company F. The parade reviewing official for today's ceremony is Dr. Jill Biden the First Lady of the United States. In 2011, Dr. Biden launched the first phase of joining forces with First Lady Michelle Obama, a White House initiative to support service members, veterans, their families, caregivers, and survivors. As the First Lady, she has visited more than 24 military installations working with joining forces partners to support the military community. Through her joining forces work, she has advocated for increased economic opportunities for military spouses, additional education programming, and support for military children, more focus on health and wellness in the military community, and improved resources for caregivers and survivors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the First Lady of the United States. Brigadier General Field, Sergeant Major Garcia, Lieutenant Colonel Kearney, thank you and Tanya and Alma for hosting us today. I'm grateful for all that you and your staff has done to make this visit possible. Good morning, Marines. Good morning. I love that. <laughs> My father, Donald Jacobs, the son of an Italian immigrant, joined the Navy three years after Pearl Harbor was attacked. He was just 17, not old enough to serve, so he needed to get permission from his mom to enlist. He became a signalman in the Pacific and later used the GI Bill to go to college. His service defined his life, and actually it shaped mine as well. As I grew up in the middle-class suburb of Philly, going to watch the Blue Angels air show in the summer and listening to military bands. But I didn't understand the full measure of the decision he made to enlist until our son, Bo, followed in his footsteps so many years later. I saw how strong the call of duty was inside of him just like it was for so many who saw us attacked on 9-11. How it gave him courage and conviction, despite the dangers of war that we witnessed on the news every single night. I saw how he drew strength from his sisters and brothers in arms, 
how those deep bonds of friendship and love inspired and energized him. I saw how his wife, Hallie, served in her own way, how his two children had to adapt when he was deployed to Iraq. His son, Hunter, was just a little toddler, but his daughter, Natalie, was old enough to miss him every day. The choice to serve your country, the choice each of you has made is a sacred one, one of sacrifice and selflessness, one of pride and patriotism. Thank you, and I hope that you're proud, because we are your instructors, your families, and your commander-in-chief. The choice to be part of this community will shape you in so many ways. We'll forge and form the path of your life, as well as the life of your families. And that choice is the foundation of our national security, the heart of our strength in times of war and peace. For 50 years, Americans like you have chosen this path, our all-volunteer force of the brave and the bold. Just 1% of our country take up the mantle of keeping all of us safe. As my husband says, it is our sacred obligation to ensure that military service is an opportunity of dignity and honor, of pride and accomplishment, not just for our service members, but for those they love, the families who answer the call of duty as well. That's why I launched Joining Forces, my White House initiative to support military and ver veteran families, caregivers, and survivors. And as you build your lives, grow in your careers, and create communities that move throughout the country and the world. Know that we are grateful for everything you do, and we are working every day so that you never have to choose between love of country and your love of family. And I want to thank all the families here for all that they've done to support you and all that they will continue to do. We often measure our lives in milestones and achievements. Today is one of those accomplishments. But so much of who we are is made up of the smaller moments, the kindnesses we offer to people in our lives, faithfulness to our word, showing up for each other, for our, our country, for the principles that guide us. The choice you've made to become a Marine is monumental to your life and the lives of the Americans you protect and defend. And it's a choice you make every day to continue to serve, to show up when you're needed most, to represent us all. Thank you for your courage and your service. God bless you and your families. Semper Fi. She is being escorted by Lieutenant Colonel Kearney, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Commanding Officer.
during the pass and review, we ask that as the national colors pass before you, please rise. After they have passed, please be seated. The Commander of Troops, Captain Miller, his company first sergeant is First Sergeant Deer. of the drum major, Gunner Sergeant Shear, and the enlisted conductor, Staff Sergeant Woden. First Lieutenant Taylor and the graduating Marines of the 2040 series. His chief drill instructor is Gunner Sergeant Patterson. The senior drill instructor of the tune 2040 is Staff Sergeant Maldonado Castro. He's assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Dean, Sergeant Lobo, Sergeant Brown, and Sergeant Russell. The senior drill instructor of Latoon 2041 is Staff Sergeant Youngblood. He's assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Pulley, Sergeant Said, Sergeant Means, and Sergeant Ryan. The senior drill instructor of Latoon 2042 is Staff Sergeant Cara Hanna Colon. He's assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Fox, Sergeant Cruz, and Sergeant Cammy. The Regimental Color Guard. The Color Sergeant is Sergeant Benutsky. The Second Recruit Training Battalion Color Sergeant is Sergeant Salvato. Captain Camino in the Graduating Marines of the 2044 Series. His Chief Drill Instructor is Staff Sergeant Clark. The Senior Drill Instructor of Platoon 2044 is Staff Sergeant Higgins. 
He's assisted by drill instructors, Staff Sergeant Clemente, Staff Sergeant Barnes, and Sergeant Trainer. The Honor Platoon for Company F is Platoon 2045. The Senior Drill Instructor is Staff Sergeant Rosado. He's assisted by Drill Instructors Staff Sergeant Vannevon, Sergeant Kale, Sergeant Wooten, and Sergeant Sincavage. Ladies and gentlemen, the company commander of Company F, Captain Mellon. <laughs> the new Marines carrying the platoon got on have been selected as the honor graduates for their platoons. They will now retire their got ons.
the platoon guide arms that are about to be retired have been the identification flags of each platoon throughout recruit training. To each, the guide arm is a symbol of spirit, dedication, teamwork, and unit identity. The commanding officer of the 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Kearney, will present the high PFT and honor graduate awards. Lieutenant Colonel Kearney is accompanied by the 2nd Recruit Training Battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Tolles. We would like to thank the Marine Corps Association for providing the awards today. Please hold your applause until all the awards have been presented. The most physically fit Marine of Company F, with a score of 597 out of 600 possible points, is PFC Vias Gandara of Platoon 2044. PFC Vias Gandara is from Goodsville, Tennessee, and was recruited by Sergeant Mendez. The honor graduate of Platoon 2040 is PFC Wilson from Crawfordville, Florida. PFC Wilson was recruited by Sergeant Perry. The honor graduate of Platoon 2041 is PFC French from Spotford, New Hampshire. PFC French was recruited by Staff Sergeant Kelly. The company honor graduate of Company F is PFC Owano of Platoon 2042. PFC Owano is from Jamaica, New York and was recruited by Staff Sergeant Kwong. The honor graduate of Platoon 2044 is PC Dominguez Castillo from Haymarket, Virginia. PC Dominguez Castillo was recruited by Sergeant Velez. The honor graduate of Platoon 2045 is PC Vallado from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. PC Vallado was recruited by Sergeant Vettel. Marching onto the parade ground is the primary march ship instructor of Platoon 2041, Sergeant Atari. The high shooter of Company F with a score of 338 out of 350 possible points is Private Woodard. Private Woodard is from West Palm Beach, Florida and was recruited by Sergeant Sanitini. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished graduates of Company F.
ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away, which represents the historic partnership and shared legacy of the United States Navy and the Marine Corps, followed by the Marines' hymn and the final dismissal. If you have served or are currently serving in the United States Marine Corps, we invite you to sing along to the Marines' hymn. Ladies and gentlemen, the first sergeant of Company F, First Sergeant Deer. The senior drill instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This is the last and probably the most welcome order the new Marines receive from their senior drill instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you refrain from entering the viewing area. And for those currently seated in the reviewing stand, please remain seated until instructed to depart. Thank you for attending today's graduation ceremony. <laughs> 